Hi and welcome to Visual C Sharp tutorial of a piano system. It's not really all about piano, creating piano, because I do have a lot of those on board, but the main thing is how to create the form. And uh, creating a form that looks like a piano is actually to, to just jazz it up a little bit. So let's see how it works. That's how it works and we can even play the the note up here as well there so what I'm going to do right now is to take you guys straight into visual C++ 2007 development environment we put one of these together but like I said the main focus is how to develop a farm in visual or window forms application so let's go into file and start up a new project so I'm gonna close that and we start a new project right away so right here I'm gonna just click on my file new project okay once the new project dialog pops up make sure visual C++ is selected and let's come into CLR select the CLR then let's select CLR empty project and right here give it a name so I'm just going to call it piano form something like that there piano form there now let's click on OK okay my piano form is ready now make sure the file name is selected or you can always right click on the file name and let's select the properties there now the piano form form property page appears now we want to select linker right here select the linker and let's select system right inside the system we want subsystem click in there and drop it down let's select windows subsystem windows there now the next thing we need to do is click on advance once the advance is selected you see the entry point i'm going to name my entry point as main click on apply and then click on ok there we go now the next thing we want to do is still make sure the piano form or the file name is highlighted right click on it and let's select add new item once you click on add new item the next thing is you want to select ui and select windows form I'm going to leave the name here, the default name, my form. I'm just going to leave it. You can always change the default name to whatever you want, but I'm going to click on add. And there we go. My form.h. Okay, I don't want that. So it's just an error. Click on cancel. Don't worry about the error. So let's come right down here inside our properties here. Okay, you see right here drag this down we want the my form dot cpp double click on my form dot cpp and that it appears okay but there's something we need to add some lines of code here these very lines of code we can always get it inside microsoft forum let me show it to you guys you see right inside this forum this forum actually show you guys how to create your own window form application for Visual Studio 2017 how to install it what to install and so on just like I've done earlier okay. so I'm going to add this link into the description area but the main thing that I want in here is just these lines of code in here remember this how to cancel that because it's not required what I just want is just this lines of code copy that 
copy and let's minimize that and right in here I'm going to paste that there there now as you can see window form CD demo okay it's your project name it's written there okay that's just a comment I'm going to delete that the name of my application if you guys can still recall is called piano let's try that again piano form there we go and right there that is it so my form dot h is taken care of if I decide to run the program this is what you guys will see and right there that's the form that we just created okay using that very lines of code that are copied from the forum these lines of code I'm going to close that in fact close the entire program and reopen it so that we can get gain access to the form itself okay let's open up our program now again so I'm going to click on the project there and there we go that's our form right there so I'm going to double click on the form and there guys you see you have to close it up so that you can more or less refresh your system so that you can gain access to the form itself and that's what I've done so I'm now going to just extend the form that much and I will go straight to the toolbox grab a button and just maybe that much let's see let's change the font size of that very button to something a bit readable let's come in and make that about 20 and select bold and come right down select 20 so that is fine there and we also need to get it aligned let's come straight to the align I'm gonna get it right at the bottom and change the text in there to C there we go yeah I think that's about fine right move this down here all we then need to do is just to hold on to the control click and copy repeat the same thing for the others I need 11 of those and three more here there we go there so what I would then do is just change the names around this one is going to be btn btnc and let's do it again btnc and this is going to be btnd btnd and the text content on it is going to be d let's come right down change the text to d and so on so i'm going to have to speed that up i believe you guys get the whole idea now yeah let's speed that up okay all of that is taken care of now let's copy this i'll just copy this control c copy this very one and take it up there right click and bring it to the top there and we also need to change the color the back color we're going to change that the four color first of all we're going to change it to something lighter and the back color we change it to black right that's cool so I'm going to hold on to the control and just copy it around for the others try that again hold on to control click drag we have one here we have two here and I just need one more here okay and I'll just name it just like I did with the others and there we go it's all set now so the next thing I like to do is to show you the music I intend to use that those are the music I intend to use I might as well just copy that whole folder let's copy it and let's go into my project folder here and that is it I'm just gonna dump that music right there there we go 
If you guys look inside this music folder, this is how I've named each of the music nodes. They are all wave sound, by the way. There. Now, the very first one, that's the very first one there. But the most important thing is for us to know the the path. So I'm going to hold on to Shift, right click, and let's select the path. Copy path. That's very important. Now, come straight to Music Notes C. Double click on that. Press Enter here. We can minimize this. We don't need it anymore for now. So the first thing is, I'm going to call the system, system, column, column, media, right there, and column, column, sound player, then let me give it, click my own object, it's going to be called play equals GCN new. And I'm going to just say system column column media again there and column column sound play and in there open up a bracket with a speech mark. If you guys remember the part that I copied earlier where my music note is right there, I'm now going to paste that part right in there. There we go that's the part but there's an error first and first let's go with that now we need one um, there okay now you see all this backslash you make it double forward slash repeat the same thing here and the same thing right here and so on that should hopefully take care of that almost there okay so let me show it to you guys that is it now one more thing we need to do is come right down here so we now need to get our object to play this let's say player player is going to be it's going to have to load and we also want the player to get synchronized as well so Hey, I would like you to be synchronized. As a player, sync. There. All right, that is it. So let me minimize that so that you guys can see the lines of codes. Right. Those are the lines of code for the C notes. I might as well just copy it because I'm going to need it for the others. But then before that, before we have a go at the others, let's try this out and see how it's going to sound. There. You hear that guys? There. But here, there's nothing happening in here. Okay. So I'm going to take care of the D. The D note. Come right down here. And double click on the D note. Okay, right in there, paste that that I've copied. Just paste it right in there. Okay, all I just need to do is change the notes to letter D. Just according to the names of my music for uh, music notes. Look at it. Okay. Now that is D taken care of. Now let's go back to E. Double click on E. Repeat exactly the same thing. And change the notes now to E. Now let's go to F and repeat exactly the same thing. Paste and change this to F. Okay, I believe you guys get the whole idea. Now double click on G, press enter, paste and change this to letter G. And we'll take care of A as well. Press enter, paste and change this to A and so on guys i'm gonna have to speed that up i believe you guys get the whole idea okay these are the ones i've taken care of so far all right so let's speed that up okay that is it for the lower music notes there 
So let's come in here and just try it out. There. And so on. However, these ones, they do nothing. So let's take care of those ones as well. Close that, double click on this. And right underneath here, I'm going to paste that. And this one is meant to be C underscore S. The lowercase s. The and right here you guys should be able to see the music note. I will also include a link to the music note for you guys. That's that taken care of. I might as well just copy this because I'm going to use it for the next one, which is D. Double click on D. Press Enter. Paste that in there and change this to D there and so on so let's speed that up now guys okay all of the music notes are taken care of so let's write and see how it's going to sound like there guys let's give it a try not bad there did that the uppercase music note all works and that's fine so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it. but like i said earlier on the most important part of this tutorial is for you guys to understand how to create a form so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial you all have a nice day now bye for now